Oh, hey guys, how you doing? Sorry, we're just preparing for this week's show. But you don't care about that. You're here to see some Doctor Who mashups and to get answers to the real questions, such as how many presenters could you fit inside a Dalek? Will you like and subscribe to this channel? I guess we'll find out. Barnaby is the main Dalek operator. His task was to train me up. Uh, what's the first thing I need to know about operating a Dalek? Well, a lot of people think that it's all remote control, but it's not. It's completely hollow at the base, so you have to pull it along with your feet. I thought it was remote control. No, and um, it has sort of shopping trolley wheels, so it has a tendency to, to go to one side and move like that. So the hardest thing to do is to keep the prow of the Dalek facing forward, and then it'll be operating the, uh, the gun and the sort of application sucker arm thing. What else do you operate? Do you operate the head? No, the head is remote controlled, so there's another operator who does the head. So it really takes about three people to do a Dalek. It's one person to go inside, one person to do the head, and then another person to do the voice. Well, let's get you in. So you step on the seat. Yep. And then you support your weight on here and lower yourself down. Put your hand on the inside of here, and that'll operate your Ooh. application arm. I've got you. This is your ray gun. Yeah. So yes. You have your hand on there. I'm in charge of the ray gun. You come straight for me. Oh, that's better. Very good. Yeah, but if you get caught with the wheels, then you've gone <laughs> yeah. the wrong way. You have to do a little wiggle to reset the wheel so you can see the wheel. Now try turning. So is it... Uh... But see, the, the thing is you've got to not just turn the, the prow like that. You have to sort of rotate on the spot, which means you brace your legs either side and then try and twist the whole Dalek round. Ooh, very good. How's that? Very good. Oh, yes. Now try turning back because the wheels have gone oh, that way. So what do you do? Do you wiggle first? Yeah. I have a little present for you. Oh, it's your great. Very own Dalek headgear. Headgear? Shut that on. No. <laughs> yeah. Do you have to wear this? Absolutely, because there's a section here, the lights sometimes get in, and if they catch your eyes, they can see the operator inside. So you have to wear that. Oh, my goodness. I can't see a thing. OK, here's the head coming on now. What's that? That's the head moving around, which Colin is moving electronically, a radio controlled head. Exterminate. Very good. Do you want to try a spin? Right, how do, you, how do you think I'm doing? You're doing very, very well. I think you're ready for the set. Kay. Do you think so? Yeah. Very curious. I want to oh, see what. Oh, what are you doing? Come on, Come on James! Me, I'm well, I'm well, I'm well, I'm I'm just doing what all the other actors do. <laughs> it's a Dalek shell, and the actors just stay inside here. Is it comfy? Them. Yeah, it's dead comfy. And can you believe it? This will probably fetch about three to four thousand pounds. Ooh. Yeah, quite a lot. Suddenly, my big moment had arrived. In my scene, the Daleks are herding their prisoners, including Jackie, Sarah Jane, and Mickey, along a corridor. My job was to wheel in after the last human prisoner had passed. It was vital to get the timing spot on. Fabulous. Here we go. Action. Well, on the crucible, that's the important thing. One step closer to the doctor. I went way too early because I was having trouble seeing out. OK, cut. Can the camera, the lights and all the supporting artists had to reset. Whoops. We had to do the whole thing again because of my mistake. This time, I was given a push-off. Luckily, everything went perfectly on this take. OK, cut. This is me. I'm in this one. Afterwards, we moved on to a different shot featuring just the Daleks. It's really cool being a Dalek. Really cool. You do feel powerful. How am I doing, Barnaby? You're doing really well. You're getting hot in there. We're getting a little hot in here, yeah. Set. And action! Thank you. Shut that. How was that for everyone? Yeah, neck off. <laughs> oh, oh, I loved chasing the captain. It was brilliant. And it looked dead frightening to me because obviously they're acting. Uh, but I really got into it. Awesome. Great experience. 
Barnaby. Yeah, yeah, we got that, so we're well done, sir. How oh, was it? Really brilliant. Yeah. Well, Rest my Dalek ability. Ten out of ten. Oh, great. No exterminate for me then. Or was it? Time to get feedback from the boss. My first ever Dalek scene. What's the verdict? Honestly? Yeah. Brilliant. Really? You were fantastic. You did Great. not let down the Dalek race. First job was to help move the Dalek under the guidance of Barnaby, who normally sits inside. Connect up. The wires there. Now you notice by your right hand side, yeah. there's a little metal switch. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Switch that forward. Yeah, ears are working. My ears are on great. I'll stick my plunger out. Yeah. Tell you what, it's quite hard on the thighs, isn't it? You've got to kind of walk yourself along as if you were sort of pushing yourself along in a chair, really, haven't you? OK, how's that? That's perfect. Now, do I, press the, uh, <laughs> do I press the button with the plunger? <laughs> no, you just uh, you let your minions do that. OK. The Daleks first appeared on screen over 40 years ago, the terrifying creations of writer Terry Nation, and they've been rampaging their way across the universe ever since. And believe it or not, he got the idea of the movement of these death-dealing horrors after watching the Georgian State Ballet. The dancers' long dresses made it look like they were gliding instead of walking, and the Daleks still glide menacingly. At least they do when they're put together, which was my next job. You need to lift up a bit. Although Barnaby sits inside the Dalek, it takes four people to bring it to life. Colin controls the Dalek's head and eye stalk. So this is the this, ultimate this is... remote control toy. <laughs> Look at it. It is actually. Great, and then we'll go left and right. Now this is Nick, who is uh, the voice of the Dalek. Uh, it sounds great. It really does. Thank you. So how, how do you sort of get the uh, get the sound going? In? There is right. a box of tricks here called a Muka Fuga ring modulator, and that's what makes that horrible whole grating metallic sound. But uh, you do have to kind of give it a bit of a performance. You have to imagine that you're uh, a funny little creature who's been oh, really? trapped inside <laughs> this tin thing all their lives. Yeah, and they're yeah. just very angry. This is the monitor, so I can watch the action. That helps me with, with the acting, especially if I'm doing a scene where someone is talking to the Dalek. Hang on, I'm just getting into character. <coughs> That's not bad, is That's it? <laughs> The team have arranged for me to play another role in the finale of the show. All they've told me is, it's out of this world. Do you think that you would be up for playing a Dalek? You're kidding. Yeah. So I'm not kidding, I'm actually being very serious. Uh, so in our finale, yeah. we have a big set piece in here in Gallifrey and uh, one of the main pieces of it is a Dalek attack. Oh my so, goodness! So um, do you think you would be up for the challenge? Yeah, how do I get in? This is a massive honour because the Daleks are possibly the most famous alien species to feature in the Doctor Who TV series and are known for their chilling cry. Exterminate! 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 <gasps> I'm grabbing a Dalek! Oh! Forward! 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 Oh! oh. Well, in case you're wondering, the car has, got, has passed its MOT. It's got a road tax disc, so it's legal to drive it on the roads. And if Perry wants to clear traffic jams or even get rid of a traffic warden, then all he has to do is press a button on the dashboard and... Exterminate! 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 <laughs> and before it exterminates the whole studio, I'll just stop and give you a look round. Ooh, and I'm glad I'm not going too far in it because it's not very comfortable in there. Although there is room for about two people and it's really nice inside. It's a bit like a sort of pink and silver bathroom. Now, Perry's done a brilliant job on the exterior. The Dalek dome has been made out of fiberglass and all this fearsome weaponry at the front has been made out of bits of wood and old scrap metal. The body is made out of perspex and sheets of aluminium. But the best thing, I think, are the famous Dalek studs. You like that, Bunny? And these are actually hamster play balls, and there are 48 of them all together. I think it's brilliant. What I would love to see is this driving down the road and everybody's reaction to it. 